Yeah. I'm going to slowly wait, put wait this down it. before I break everything. Oh, broken. <sighs> Done. Will you break everything? Yeah, that sweet oh, sound. That's broken. That's sweet sound. It's so beautiful. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I just heard it in the... Can not crack it? Yeah, I just oh, heard yeah. that in the headset. That was... Nice crack. Although it's it was, just a... It's a good one. It's just a cope. I want to move his mic so it's not in his eyeball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Mario, <laughs> he... You, go, Mario. you know. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, <clears throat> Hello, welcome back to the Buffalo Game Space Podcast, number 57. <laughs> uh, we are streaming this on uh, June 9th, 2017. I'm your host, Pat Kesters, and with me tonight are... Isaiah Smith. And Arsenio Cologne. Oh, oh shit. Cologne. Yeah. What? Cologne? It's Cologne? Yeah, it's Cologne. Oh. Like what did you think it was? I always thought it was like Colin. Well, there's an accent on it, you know? I, yeah, you don't see sense. the accent, but it's there. Oh, Futch, Futch uh, is, is dealing with the fact that we have a Mario now. New Super Mario! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so quick about us, since I guess I never ever said this before, but we are a nonprofit in Buffalo, New York, the place where we're at right now. None of us are employees. Nope, so nope unfortunately. We, we don't get paid for <laughs> <laughs> But uh, we are the Buffalo Game Space, is a place for people to come and be part of a community of game developers, uh, whether it be physically here or through this camera. Uh, all types of devs from artists, musicians, programmers, web devs. What do you do? I do web dev and game dev on the side. I do those things. I'm a 3D artist, so <laughs> we have two, two of the same people and one. Uh, hey, it's Kane. What's up, Kane? Yay, bringing yeah. him in. Um, also, hi, Vand. I'm just going to... Should we go, should I say Vand? Oh, I didn't even see Vindy. Vandy? We're saying Vandy. I think it's Vandy. Vandy. Let's, Vandy sounds I good. I do Vandy. Vandy. Yeah, Vandy's okay. Yeah. I like that. Uh, but any donations you make during the stream tonight will be going straight into this room that you see here, making this podcast and stream better, and as such, making the sound booth better, and as such, making the BGS better. Might get a nicer yeah. table eventually. Uh, yeah, I can <laughs> but what you can do right now is if, do I get it right? Yeah. That bar right there. Ooh, we're trying right to, there too, right at the end. Yeah, of it. right. It's like I've been doing this for weeks. <laughs> uh, we're trying to get two hundred dollars to help finish replacing this mic and that mic with these mics you see here, which are the Audio Technica twenty twenties. Uh, we are already at seventy dollars, uh, or I, I believe seventy-one, something like that. Primo. Uh, so US we're we're getting very close to at least we'll halfway to getting anything, one. Huh? So uh, <laughs> any currency. No, anything that any donations made tonight. But even if you don't donate, thanks for just watching. <laughs> we appreciate you being here. Yes. Uh, All our good friends. So yeah, and again, just the since I haven't made a donation button yet, it's just the Buffalo Game Space logo under the want to donate down below. I need a work on that at some point <laughs> uh yes how are you guys We're doing doing good yeah Which doing good went, uh, I'm, I'm a little upset that now i feel like i'm intruding on your your table yeah, because i don't i up. i didn't have my ipad today and so i just had to bust out the old fat macbook so yeah. i can see chat i feel like i need a macbook now i just yeah now everybody needs a laptop yeah. you can go grab a dually one real quick <laughs> 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 But um, do that, yeah. yeah, you're covering up the flash, damn it. Sorry. There Come you go. On. Yes. You can just move us over. But, Next. uh, <laughs> so, to BGS news. Yeah. Shotgun Farmers is an online multiplayer <laughs> shooter where your bullets grow the guns. But the only way to get more ammo or find new weapons is grow them yourself or harvest the plants grown by other farmers. Release... Well, it's on green light right now. You can no. get it. No, no, that's, no that's right. God gone. damn. That's how used to it I am. <laughs> Fudge donated monies. <laughs> what? Fudge donated. Uh, uh, $20. Uh, $20. You can see oh, you're closer snap. to the screen. Whoa. Hey, we're bow, closer bow, bow, now. Bow, bow, bow. Do we have All right. Like Somebody please uh, soundboard that, and that's now <laughs> our... Uh, need a soundboard. <laughs> that, is, that is now the sound for... Need buttons. Whatever Whenever somebody, somebody donates <laughs> is that. All right. I'm down with that. Yes. Uh, so, uh, well, that threw me off a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah you can buy it right now. Uh, we're not. No, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <That> discussion's <laughs> dead. You can buy it right now. I think it's like what eight, eight eighty or something like eight forty nine. Something. Is I it think still it's on? Yeah. Well, you can buy it right now. Um, nice. The Batman animation's been here for weeks, brah. Come on, Fudge. That's been that way. Uh, we'll get to that in a second, Vandy. Calm down. But uh, moving to TJ. Thanks for the follow, Kane. 
Oh, we, God damn. Hey, Kane, how you doing? Yeah, Kane. <laughs> uh, we did it. Some 2D platformers give you rewards like more points or extra lives when you jump on multiple enemies without touching the floor. <laughs> this elimination tower offers you a much grander prize. Stop shaking the table for doing this. Survival. Play is a queue of randomly generated contestants that enter the tower, all hoping to win cash prizes, i.e. hats. And the glory of being the first person to ever Pretty reach the top of Fist Elimination <laughs> Tower. But they'll have to. Look out for Fist. And that's coming spring 2017, which actually should be out now. But. Should have been out four months ago. Right? Apparently, <laughs> Fitch just got an achievement called Watched an Hour of Twitch live streams with less than 10 viewers. Thanks, oh, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Appreciate that. There you go. That. BGS, doing everyone a favor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right then. Well, fuck me. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> thanks for the twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> moving on, so to, good to know. yeah, a little, little humbling factor, I guess. Uh, moving down, I guess the first thing Vandy happened to call it is Steam Greenlight is officially done. So as <laughs> I hit my mic, mm-hmm. uh, as of Tuesday of this week, which was June 6, twenty seventeen, what had happened? Uh, it's just gone. Now yep. there are still games on it, but they are not accepting anymore. Correct. Uh, so there are still green light games out there. Uh, and they're going through a list about, uh, I think I read like 3,400 plus. Pretty much. Left. So, I mean, so, that's a sizable but Pat, amount of games. Whatever will happen now that green light is gone? It's being replaced by Steam Direct. <laughs> Cast. When is that coming out? June 13th. Are you oh, looking man. at my script? <laughs> <laughs> Figure we do a little. <laughs> God damn it. I don't have a script. We know you don't. <laughs> that's kind of Forever that's, that's sadness. Your, do, do you want a script? No, I don't want a script. I don't want you to have a script. No. I don't know what it would be like to write a script for you. I don't like to be scripted. Yeah? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Yep. Moving on. So that's just kind of finally done. I'm, ah, uh, man, that kind of went down with a whimper. Green yeah, light. it just, what like, a, went away. They, I, that article is just like, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> All <laughs> like, right, cool. See like, you in a week. Okay. Gone and replaced. <laughs> uh... Well, that was a thing yeah. that they just got rid of. His script is no. No, I'm that's the other dude. Ban the word. <laughs> I'm going to ban the word. <laughs> JRPS. JRP, Role playing shooter. <laughs> Role playing shooter. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. That seems like fun. Nice. Sure. Is that, isn't that what Shotgun Farmers is? It is now. JRPS. <laughs> <laughs> As of this moment, that's what it is. Um, yeah. Um, moving down the line, the uh, GOG summer sale began. began. Words are hard. Gog. Gog. <laughs> but uh, it's called, is it Good Deal Games? or Good Old Games. Good Old Games, that's right. Uh, but w- when you first buy a game in that sale, you get a free game with that purchase, which is Rebel Galaxy. Really? Ooh. It's a uh, space flight sim. It actually looks pretty good. It came out in 2015, but it's got a 9 out of 10 on Steam and... A 4.1 out of 5 on GOG itself. So it doesn't look like a shit game that they're yeah. just giving you. Yeah, but what about Metacritic? <laughs> Who cares about Metacritic? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Does Metacritic sound good? Like the Metacritic? Name, the name itself? I want to see a Metacritic. Metacritic. Like Metacritic. Sale? Site, yeah, there's like a for itself. sale, I guess, on Summer Sale for yeah. good old games. Good old games. Uh, it's, it's a lot like Steam, except I th- it's just smaller and they have a lot more indie yeah. games on it. Uh, but they still have some great deals, including right now. They got some. Uh, I want to say it's owned by CD Projekt Red. So, really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's why the, for a while The Witcher was only available on it. However, mm. I think around Witcher 2 or so, they switched that's Swedish it company, over. Yeah. I think I yep. actually bought yeah. The Witcher through uh, Witcher 1 and 2 through Good Old Games. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, reduced prices on over 1,500 games, and that sale ends on June the 20th. Mm. So go get your shit. Do it. There's there's a lot of Buy stuff it. out there. Sales sales. Uh, the same uh, same summer sales should be coming up here pretty quick. Relatively soon. They usually yeah. all hit at the same time. They're yeah. Kind of so scared. God God help us all yeah. when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> but um, God help my wallet. Dude, God I don't help my wallet. I um, <laughs> I'd like to go. Oh God. Ah, <laughs> Polish. CD Projekt Red is Polish. Project with a K. That's your fault. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously because you're Japanese. Whoops. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, dear. Quasi TV is hosting you for up to 
Whoa. Four viewers. Nice. Thanks, oh, Kazi. I was literally about to message before. him <laughs> oh, saying snap. that we're on live. Uh, while it's going to get a beaten, you are not wrong, Kane. It's going to be pretty gnarly. Uh, it, But a good kind of gnarly. Next on the docket. The one that makes me poor. <sighs> Reach for the keyboard <laughs> and try to desperately not touch any Press other all the buttons. buttons. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh Oh, it worked. Whoa. <laughs> There's a game. <laughs> Crazy. That is entirely about inflatable arm men. And it's a fighting game. I don't know how I feel about that. It's called Inflatality. I like the name. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> basically, the point is to beat the other player until somebody is deflated. It is developed by Hojo Studio. This uh, video is from a YouTube channel called Battle Turtle. So. So the for same that. objective as Tekken, mm -hmm. in other words. So, yeah, it's a fighting game. Yeah. You just kill the other person. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. what it is. But but the person's like an inflatable arm man. Correct. That's what you're saying. And, uh, yeah, it's I available it. through, uh, interesting left, still what's left of Steam Greenlight, but it is uh, <laughs> just fun to watch this. Just. But I So I've seen a video, and the just thing I like there. most is yeah. that they're well, like, there's like equipment. Like you can put on a little spinny hat, and it just... Am I going ahead? Like, what kind of spinny hat? Like, like, did, like, like the little propeller thing? Yeah. And That's then, like, awesome. as you're leaning forward, it'll just, like, smack the other player. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, like, there's different characters that do different things and, and stuff like that. But uh, so what's the control scheme like? Do you just... Who I knows? Just no start, idea. <laughs> press buttons It's a fighting game, so, yeah. yeah. I don't think there's going to be much Maybe juggling. You, is there much stuff. control? <laughs> uh, as much control as... Mm. Having giant inflatable arm men can. Oh, okay. I, I, I kind of wish that they made facial expressions. I, th I know they have like faces. I don't know whether yeah. or not they are. I don't think they. Yeah, like dude just had a hammer. It's like as he's flying all around. Potentially, I don't know. But yeah, it's just man. So when you lose, you just you just fly. <laughs> to the yeah. Side. yeah. That's all it. right. You you're deflated. It is interesting to see that like the health is incredibly low. So yeah, it's like not it like doesn't a full fighting game. Yeah, which like I think is to its credit. Taking like just a, a few hits. A long fight between these two things would basically just be like standing outside a mm. car dealership because that's what happens every time. <laughs> uh, whereas now it's elastic uh -oh. combo combo. Psycho Billy said, "Quasi, <laughs> I love you." I do like the uh, the accurate reading there Thanks, of the man. comment. It's part of being host. You're going to have to learn that. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Good luck. What's up, Billy? But, yeah. Billy. So, that's pretty cool. Just Billy. little things in life that... Uh, I like the Pink Smasher, though. That's a unique name. <laughs> oh, dear. I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay with it. Uh, <laughs> and Billy is... Uh, yeah. Billy is now following. Thank Follow. you, Billy. What? But, Thanks, uh, dude. okay, well, until I get, like, an actual switchboard, I have to use this giant keyboard. <laughs> Back. We're not talking about RuneScape. I can't, well, that is really, I cannot read that. Yeah, who's that? Uh, it's you. you Decide. I like that name. I kind of like that name, actually. That's yeah, that's a really cool name. That's right? actually a pretty cool name. <laughs> All right, touche, sir. Uh, but speaking of C CD Projekt Red... Mm. The de those developers have been robbed. Dun, dun, dun. This is an interesting story for this week. Uh, <laughs> again, CD Projekt Red, they released an official statement on Twitter, which I'm going to actually pull up here in a second, so make sure I get this one right. Oh, also, this is the... Um, I'll drop in the, in the chat. That, that is this, the Steam page for... Uh, Boom. Inflatables or inflatality Inflatality. Or inflatables. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> inflatables. Is that like a new game. drug? <laughs> it sounds like it could be. It does. <laughs> I, like, I'm imagining like <laughs> it's like a clown balloon that like is. I got time. Thanks drugs. for following, man. Uh I get some inflatables, man. And you just like breathe it in. Yeah. And that would actually be kind of cool. Like you just sell balloons and like like you could just how cool is drug dealing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's cool in the way that you do it. Don't don't deal drugs, kids. Don't sell balloons. I say it. Drugs are bad. Don't don't do drugs. Don't. Do you want a shovel for this hole that you're 
Just Go saying, on. all right. I would try an inflatable. At I least keep once. looking at that and not thinking it's a PlayStation logo. What on do your you head. think it is? I keep seeing a Red Bull logo because I just see the red. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I got my I PlayStation. See Red Bull logo. I it's could wear my my hat down more so it's easier to see. Uh, it looks more. But then that look weird. Yeah. yeah. It's super yeah. Weird. I need no, to show. You yeah. Keep it on the back. Never do that again. No. <laughs> <laughs> Never do that Never. again. Uh, you speaking of what you decide is how following. Thanks, yeah, bro. now we can talk about RuneScape. Uh, balloons for adults. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played RuneScape. Balloons for adults. <laughs> I haven't played RuneScape in a while. Yeah. Like Ever middle since school. Since it like first started. Since it was RuneScape, you know. Yeah. It, I don't know. Oh, man. RuneScape 1.0. Like legit, though. Yeah. Like old, like, yeah. like browser based <laughs> RuneScape. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is. is it, yeah, I, I'm I thought it was still, still browser thing, Same thing. <laughs> I was just gonna Maybe attack not. and die most of the time. Those are my things. Oh yeah, sad. I haven't finished this. Uh, yeah. I haven't finished this other story yet. But uh, so they released an official st- statement statement on Twitter, uh, quote unquote, an unidentified individual or in- individuals have just informed us that they are in possession of a few internal files belonging to CD Projekt Red. Among them are documents connect connected to early designs of the upcoming game Cyberpunk 2077. Mm. A demand for ransom has been made, saying that what? should we not comply, up, the files will be released to the general public. We will not be giving in to the demands of the individual or individuals uh, that have contact, uh, contacted us, which might eventually lead to the files being published online. The appropriate legal authorities will be informed about the situation. The documents are old and largely unrepresentative of the current vision of the game. Still, if you're looking forward to playing Cyberpunk 2077, it would be best for you to avoid any information not coming directly from CD Projekt Red. So... How did they get robbed, though? That's... Like, that's I mean, I'm like probably somebody just either... Cyber hacking? Found a server or, or something. Okay. Or like somebody huh. literally just walked in and like... And Cyber hacking is redundant. It's probably just hacking at that point. And Super yeah. sad. <laughs> done. <laughs> done. Oh wait, maybe he was dating Mario. Maybe. Uh, I'm not know. fucking that's, with that. Yeah. That's wait, so he doesn't like RuneScape. I don't know. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I wasn't just talking about RuneScape. Not nah, fucking with that one. Now it's gone. But yeah, uh, yeah. something happened to really. I didn't know that happened with Netflix and Orange oh, is the New Black. Oh, that's interesting. Which I think just launched like yesterday, I think. Got a new this season week or something. Yeah, season five. Saw sure. a review for it. Yeah. I, I, have, yeah. I have no idea, but um, yeah, but it's just interesting that man, this is the future we live in. Now. People steal things online for video, <laughs> for video games. Yeah, and to be fair, I love how CD Projects just like go fuck yourself immediately. Like that day, they came out with mm. a statement saying we don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> uh, like so, you know what? Props to them. And they shouldn't, you know. Like it's their game. Like so, what if a few files are released? Yeah, and also you know? if they're early design, like documents. Odds are, especially by this point, those are not representative no, of that not game. At all. Yeah. Three months later, they're not going to be representative of the game. Yeah. So, oh, that's uh, it's just an interesting. so fast, I imagine. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's just so interesting to. Man, I mean, so maybe future like we live in, I guess. at that point, like all they're kind of missing yeah. is some maybe like early plot that just changed or something. Maybe. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's just not even that. It could just still be buggy, even <laughs> like yeah. for what they have can uh, be. They probably don't even have a game yet. It's <laughs> yeah, probably I mean, literally I all mean, the documents. It's yeah. like a word document. Legit. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But uh, yeah, this is the script. Oh, it's just it's just <laughs> interesting that they did that, and also a fucking ransom. Yeah, like That's a ransom for a design document. Like, okay, whatever. <laughs> future, folks. Uh, but speaking of the future... Really? I didn't know that. Uh, going back to the past... The, uh, the God thing, damn you. <laughs> the thing that everybody's God been waiting you. for <laughs> from Accolade Studios... What is uh, it? ...comes the abomination of the 90s, the one, the only, the Bubsy is back. <laughs> Finally. Uh, he looks really cool, though. Does he? Lie. Does he? I mean, the game doesn't, but <laughs> he does. He looks like a crack addict. In the little intro right there, he had on, like, a cool, like, the Metal Gear back. shirt. <laughs> yeah. So let's watch that again just for <laughs> everybody. So everyone. So everybody can see the glory oh, of this 
thing that has happened. Yeah, oh, so... Uh, looks a little bit high. Nobody wanted it, but uh, <laughs> here it is. Somebody wanted to make it. Somebody brought it. And it's made by the same studio, too. So, uh... Looks it's... As Land Sharks? Land Sharks? Oh, yeah. Squid Alien? Yeah, don't... <laughs> don't ask questions. Like <laughs> don't ask questions. But I'm not gonna buy it. No. I don't think anybody is. But... Hey, I mean... So... It's being made by Accolade Studio, and it's completely called uh, Bubsy the Wooly Strike Back. <laughs> <sighs> that crotch. <laughs> that, that crotch is right. Um, the official press release yes. from uh, Accolade says, oh, so get fucking lock and load for this one. So for, do you know, you know Bubsy, right? I'm, no, I don't actually. It's a I don't either. rip off like <laughs> 90s, like that. Icon like the mm. like the uh, the mascot like mm. of Mario and Sonic and stuff like that, and that was their version of it. And I, he was primed for like I know his last game was on PlayStation, but uh, they were just trying to uh, they were just trying to like do it. And my God, the games there was two side scrollers like akin to the one there, and then there was a 3D one a la Super Mario 64, and it was terrible. Oh. Really? It is comically bad, like just comically glitchy and uh, just all sorts of n nonsense. Kind of just looks like a worse Crash Bandicoot, really. Kind of, actually. Yeah. It's like exactly like it, the same character design. He looks like, like <laughs> you know how we have a uh, Sanic out in the hall. He looks yeah. like yeah. Sanic. He looks like, a, like, like a like a crash, like a a Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. 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 Uh, but yes. <laughs> So, for some reason, this is back. Uh, Bubsy, the Wooly Strike Back, is a Bubsy adventure featuring Bubsy in a bevy of exotic <laughs> locations. This oh. is this is straight from, oh, from that, for the record. Bevy. Of exotic right. locations as he travels it the, hurts. the planet <laughs> looking for the Golden Fleece. Mm. Mm. Bubsy must use all of his classic mm. moves and a few new ones oh. to dodge and out Bobcat. By the way, he's a Bobcat. <laughs> Uh, what? So a battalion of woolies, sharks, and so what were, his, what were his classic? I'm hoping that that's place. a typo <laughs> of mine. Uh, not mention the gnarliest UFO bosses to ever grace a Bubsy adventure. Jeez. Uh, Jeez. Yeah, Mario's just getting an intense flashback. <laughs> um, Jeez. So, yeah. Hey, Stellar. Oh. Hey, Nato. What's up, guys? But you, yeah, you came at a terrible time. It's terrible, terrible time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for some reason, this is, yeah, he's Bubsy the Bobcat, by the way. Jeez. Um, Why? <laughs> because they did. Because oh, they did. I don't know. Um, Are Bobcats just like really iconic? No. no. <laughs> IPs? Not at all. <laughs> it was just like they needed like Bandicoot, Sonic the Hedgehog, sure. yeah, like yeah. Mario the Plumber, like something like that, but. But he would Bub see the Bobcat? Ba Bandicoot at pants. Crash. Bandicoot at pants. Uh, this one was just Crash Bandicoot. It wasn't even Crash. Like, the only one was Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. I guess Spiral the Dragon, if that was around that the That was same towards time. the end. Yeah. Sure. Towards the end. But, yeah, basically... Uh, Jim the Earthworm. <laughs> Jim the Earthworm. <laughs> but but uh, animals the, and things. The thing uh, about... Uh, the thing about Bubsy is that he was they tried to make him like a Deadpool type character where he broke the fourth wall and everything and talked about <laughs> oh, like no. the game developers in the game. Oh, except no. they did it terribly. Really <laughs> shittily. <laughs> really shittily. Um, to the like to the all. point where it's just comical. Like how bad it is. Um, and Don't they want. did it again where they actually released with the uh, with the uh, trailer to a lot of news sites. Hmm. An interview of Bubsy, and Bubsy's like answering the questions, and it's just hmm. so bad. Okay, it's just so bad. Uh, Would not watch, but okay. Don't, so, don't. <laughs> so is it out yet? No, uh, no. Hmm. Uh, really uh, play it. The studio says that this no. will be no. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the game that uh, brings Accolade back as a brand. <laughs> God, uh, I hope all right. So. And uh, for their sake, and again, the last time Bubsy had a game was Bubsy 3D, which was god awful. Uh, and that was in 1996. It's on the PlayStation, I was three, so yeah, Jeez. and uh, again, 
And uh, Accolade closed its doors in 2000. And have now since returned. They're, they're now back. They opened them Doing again. Doing Bubsy for another like, how, they, how the hell did they get back? Like, who, I whose idea know. was it like, all no, right, no, we're going to yeah. pitch Bubsy and it to wasn't the investors, like, and they're going to like it. They're oh, going to love man. it. Yeah, and it wasn't like there was a, oh, like a uh, Kickstarter or anything. It just like, happened. I mean, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he got, they got money somewhere. Like, <laughs> yeah, somewhere it got funded. They're not asking for money. <laughs> They're just letting you know their game's coming out. Yeah, we're doing awesome. it. We're coming and back. And they're like, the are you excited? And everybody's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no. What? No, no, we are excited. not. But, oh, man. What? Oh, that's it. Yeah. That was just that was No surprising. one's excited. It yeah. was just surprising. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, Bubsy? Hey, all right, cool. Whatever, I guess. Yeah. In all fairness, could have been worse things. Like what? All right, okay. Here's a fucking thought experiment. What's a brand or a game IP that has been gone for good reason that you kind of want to come back? Echo. Echo? The Dolphin? Yeah. Okay. Toomba. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't expect that one. Uh, Pink-haired dude chasing pigs. That was awesome. That was the game. <laughs> <laughs> was, in fact, the game. Are you are you guys excited? Who are you? are you? You seem pretty excited. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Scott. I don't think I think he's saying like, are you guys excited? You're reading the wrong emphasis there. Oh, it's, I see. What are you're saying. you guys excited? Yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm going to. I'm ban, pretty excited. I'm going to ban that word from the chat. Excited? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the word that shall not be named, or the genre that shall not be named. I guess oh, would be God. a better way to say it. So yes. God damn it, Sky. <laughs> yeah. I just caught it. Well, what you see? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh next up, UK politicians visit a game store and discuss esports to people who are trying to play Tekken. Mm. And it was kind of funny to watch. <laughs> huh. Like okay. Uh, I'm so interested. Th- Does he have any background in Tekken or fighting games <laughs> no. or games or no. tech? <laughs> no. Or people. Or people. <laughs> uh, the, so the UK's general election was the eighth of June, but the day before, when most politicians, I guess this guy was too, were scrambling to do last minute campaigning, uh, doing whatever, kissing whatever babies they needed to, or mm. like uh, kissing ass to whatever party that they needed to. This guy went to. A store called Talk and Surf, and nope. uh, not a good name. Not not a good name. <laughs> not and a good name at talk all. to players who are playing uh, Tekken Seven about esports and how that community brings people together. He's yeah, he's quoting that uh, I'd like to see a big esports event in Cardiff. It's a great way to bring people together in a friendly and competitive environment. I don't know about friendly. Hmm. Uh, get them mingling games. and yeah. making <laughs> new like friends. It's just a salty environment, really. <laughs> It's just not fun either, unless <laughs> yeah. you're equally as good as the person you're playing. I uh, know. The last Super Smash <laughs> Brothers tournament I joined, I was just really stressed all the time. The last one that they had here was uh, at least two controllers uh, got Broke. thrown. <laughs> yeah, at least two. One definitely. I was finding pieces of it for like a week. Uh, Came in. Nope. <laughs> yeah, so Rumble in the Tundra. That's right. It was, <laughs> man. It's fun to watch from like back, on the huh? other side of Bulletproof Glass. <laughs> And not actually being in it. <laughs> Controller proof glass. Yeah. Like yeah. if, man, those dudes go Controller hard. Glass. They go <laughs> hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. But, uh, yeah, so, and he continues saying, I think that anything that brings a community together is a good thing and is positive for mental health. Hmm. I mean, you no. Know. He's not wrong. Yeah. Uh, basically, what I find interesting about this story is the fact that a politician felt that on his last day of campaigning, he was going to go talk to esports in a random talk video to those game millennials, store. man. Got to relate yeah. to the gamers. Yeah, we're what is it like? Seventy <laughs> percent of the population plays games now. Maybe like mobile, but I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you know, yeah. ninety nine. Like, I'm sure he heard that population. statistic. Somebody yeah. on his team Somebody heard that statistic. It. it was like, yo, get out there. Let's go. I mean, go talk to some gamers. Gold, right? I tried Blue Jewel. Yeah, I like Tetris more. It's a game. Tetris is my go-to mobile game it's fun but uh yeah it's just it, it's interesting to see a politician decide to do that like i i mean in all fairness i would love i would pay good money to see that happen here in america like if 
during I, the presidential oh, elections. Oh, <laughs> it was just oh. a tournament between like Clinton and Trump. <laughs> winner, oh, <laughs> winner takes, winner takes off. off. <laughs> that would have been epic. I want to watch that shit. Uh, but it's British politics, so it's like yeah, we're a little like removed. the European mindset is different. Broadcasting I don't know what they're like network. over there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, will shotgun farmers have control of support? I don't know. Seventy percent of the it already has yeah. of controller scrubs. support. Actually, You're right. Yeah, we are not the developers of Shotgun Farmer. Yeah, it has controller mm-hmm. support. It's there. Uh, I mean, obviously, mouse and keyboard's better, but oh, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I'm gonna ban that, that <laughs> from this too. No controller. Topic oh, over. Yeah. I, I hear. I, I felt nope. him like perk up. Nope, not for doing a it. Second. Not doing it. No, and you're right. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Not I, doing I've it. Done. Oh no! No! Nope! Uh-oh. Nope! Nope! We're Focusing. Moving on. Moving on. Uh-oh. Moving on. So, it, uh, <laughs> just just so you know, uh, Billy, if you want, go back into the vods. There's a couple videos where we go into that. Actually, there's two that are literally titled <laughs> after that because it kept fucking happening. You'll have fun with those. And I think there's at least four total. Yeah. That uh, fighting tournament. At least. Yeah. <laughs> back to that. Yeah, fighting tournament. I would love. Oh, a presidential fighting tournament. That'd be great. There was a, uh, uh, I think my junior year of college, somebody for like a, uh, like a game project made a fighting game that was that? U.S. Cast. presidents. Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it was kind of cool. That would actually be really fun. Yeah, it, it I, was I like, feel like Abe Lincoln George Lincoln Washington OP, going toe to toe with like Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln, I feel like Grant would be OP, just dude. gone. He's got reach. Like the man was lanky. Yeah, but Washington was like he's tough though. Yeah, t- Washington like could take tough. some shit. Washington, I could see being like the Scorpion or Sub Zero. Yeah, and Abe Lincoln would be Baraka with his reach. <laughs> plus, plus Washington <laughs> has eagles and axe, cherry trees. Yeah, come on. What, he's like I don't remember his Smash moveset, Bros. Like that's his move. <laughs> <laughs> he just grows a tree and cuts it down. Yeah, and that's it his lands. Uh, that's his side B, man. Oh, just like, okay, all right. <laughs> but, uh, Man, that would be cool to actually. Andrew Jackson would destroy everyone. <laughs> what about? Yeah, he would. He would go toe to toe. But like Grant, dude, Roosevelt, mm. Teddy Roosevelt. Walk lightly, carry a big stick. Yeah, a big ass fucking. Club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So sure, I mean, Roosevelt was a fighter. Like he fought bears. He well, did he actually fight bears? Yeah. Or was that the? Uh, I'm pretty sure the all legend. the history books say that he fought bears. All your history books mm-hmm. or wait, yeah. what? Was, we had what? really cheap history books. <laughs> Bendy, what kind of news is that? <laughs> it was Lincoln a punch. it was a Dutch Tamagotchi app made for the elections. Like, how does that work? Yeah, I'm curious <laughs> now. You, we need more information on this now. Lincoln punch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Oh man, now I'm thinking about. I it. really now I just want like a brawl game, but like show me your scores. Would yeah, yeah. I want, like or I'd I, say like a one v one. Oh, I want both. Marvel vs. Capcom style, where you tag in other presidents. Yes. And it's like their vice president. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, yes. I, don't know, I don't know many vice presidents, but. Yeah, yes. that's true. <laughs> oh, but that would be wo- a fucking yeah. Washington, Lincoln, and like, oh, who who, who would be the third? Hmm. Bush. Which one? Yeah. Uh, You're like, <laughs> shit, there is two. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> <laughs> George or George? Yeah. They were <laughs> what? Andrew Jackson had a gun oh, duel. Shit. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Andrew Jackson was badass. Andrew Jackson was a badass, but I still am like waiting for information on this Dutch. Yeah. This Dutch app. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you <can> take. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, there's this one animation with it. I don't remember yes, what it was. you could take care of the politician. You could also <laughs> let him die. They took statistics on how on on how good of care was taken for different politicians, huh? That's that's amazing. That's we should, dude. You want to you want to make a lot of money? Just make a little like oh my god, this thing neo pet about Trump. Just fuck, put is that Trump on the app store. The yeah, like you have to like take care of them. And Problem is, I feel like the people who would be the. Uh, <laughs> Who it would be like the demographic for that? Probably that's don't true. like. That's true. They don't yeah. play games. Do they hatch from eggs? Oh, that's a good question. Do yeah. they hatch from eggs? Oh, oh. I'm pretty sure all politicians hatch, hatch from eggs, right? That's yeah. how they are. They're not, <laughs> they're not warm blooded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're not technically you can't be a people. politician and have yeah. warm blood. Yeah. Obviously, they, they they got that re- their hearts removed. Chickens a long time are warm blooded. Hmm. So anyway. <laughs> 
Um, Cats, politicians are chickens. <laughs> Cats, politicians are, are chickens? Presidentamon. Presidentamon. <laughs> I just lo- I thought the screen froze for a second, but it was just me and you staring at him. <laughs> All right. But uh, next thing. Yep. GameStop's customers' credit cards have possibly been stolen. <gasps> gasp. God damn. So another gasp. thing in a very long line of bad things that happened to GameStop God this year. Damn. Uh, anyone who placed orders on the website from August 10th, uh, 2016, to February 9th, 2017 damn are it. at risk. Uh, anything? Hmm? You buy something? No. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know anyone who's no. ever bought anything so from GameStop like, online. I did like freshman year of college. It was the Metal Gear Solid uh, HD. Oh, edition. the PS2 bundle thing. It was on 360. Oh, well. yeah. So it's they had another one that was all the Metal Gear games, but yeah. this one was just Metal Gear Solid Two, Three, and Peace Walker. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Is it Peace about. Walker? Yeah, it's Peace I know what Walker. You're uh, but it, the reason I got it is because it came with the art book, and I love Metal Gear's mm. art style, so like I, I needed yeah. that. So it's just only limited to online orders and not in store No, orders? I just couldn't get it. By the time I like went into store to get it, it was already gone. Uh, no, no, he's, I think he's talking oh, about Oh, I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, but yes, it appears that it's only online. Uh, mm. or, so customers who are at risk or will be notified of the issue from GameStop. They will be sending uh, something... Uh, through, I believe, email straight to you. Cool. Uh, just to make sure that you are aware with information on what to do if it is an issue and to at least be careful for it. Cool. Uh, this comes in a long line of problems, of scandals, and the company is already struggling uh, as the industry ships to digital products yep. uh, with an uh, inordinate amount of stock and market losses this year alone. Uh, so man, this is just going downhill. I thought the Switch was saving GameStop though. Was it? Yeah. Like they were like, oh man, our sales are super great now because the Switch came out. Really? I didn't hear that at all. I mean, I thought the whole reason they were doing bad is because didn't they like say they were going to get into publishing and whatnot? They did with the one game and that was part of the problem as people, turns out. It was it was kind of a weird double standard that people didn't like it when they oh no you didn't like Origins. What? You can chat. Oh, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, people apparently don't like it when, like, a brick-and-mortar store, like a Walmart, funds a game, puts produces it, and then the puts game. it out there, yeah. like a big... Yeah. It's different when it's Steam, I guess, because... They were doing it before That's how that it started, yeah. so we're just kind of used to it. <laughs> yeah. Which is an interesting double standard, but at the same time, too, when you go to a store, it's interesting to see a physical yeah. cardboard cutout as opposed to, like... A wallpaper on the front page of it that changes yeah. depending on who you are. Plus, wasn't so. there like a, there's also that shift from games to like apparel and accessories and like they basically want to become a Think Geek. Well, that's because Think yeah. Geeks partnered with them. Those ah, are all Think Geek products. There you go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which is exactly the only reason why they're basically still getting some profits mm. is because they're shifting over to physical merchandise, which is a smart idea. Yeah, uh, yeah people are more likely to buy a physical product. The shirts I bought person. at GameStop yeah. for merchandise, yeah. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, so it is it is not a good sign for You don't have GameStop. GameStop. What do you have? Yeah, Kane. What's up, Walrus? Well, it's got also, you didn't like, yeah, you didn't like Dragon Age Origins? I thought Origins was really good. Maybe I was wrong. Was Origins a good one? I, I thought so. I, I, didn't I thought play the two Dragon was the, like, two had... A two was the one that I remember before. hearing not a lot of people like. Yeah. But then they came back with Sup, Walrus. Sup. 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 Yeah, that Pokemon <laughs> Direct sucked. Did you oh watch it? God, Is, huh? Has Nintendo done that? I watched all eight minutes of it. It was eight minutes? Yeah. It was the most It was eight minutes eight of disappointment. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> These guys know. Let's hear it. No, I, it didn't, I purposely didn't watch it because I knew Nintendo was going to drop the uh, fucking ball. It was just... All right, what I happened? mean, well, it's not Nintendo. It's Game Freak. It's the Pokemon <laughs> Company. Oh, no. Who writes their check? <laughs> if, if they stop going to Nintendo, well, I guess at this point, anybody True. would be I glad mean, people, to pick them up. <laughs> people were expecting Pokemon Stars at that point, and like I think every, it was just total Money speculation. It was Game rumor. Freak. Is there any more Hold news? Hold that thought, I don't want to like go into a couple. Uh, real quick, I just want to say, what was the GameStop launcher? It was, was a GameStop launcher. Is this? Oh wait, do you remember since when? Like this? I think I do remember GameStop doing like their own Steam-like thing, right? 
because everybody was, to be fair, trying to hop on board with that for a while. Yeah. Like they would make their own. I mean, launcher. And a lot of them still exist. <laughs> yeah, I know Ubisoft still has theirs, but EA you don't theirs. have to use it. That's true. You can go through Steam. Well, yeah, but it like I think it runs it in the background. Then no, they don't. They don't worry about it anymore. Really? They pretty they it oh. used to, but they kind of just chopped it away. If you buy the game through it, then yes, it's going to run gotcha. in the background. But mm-hmm. if you get Steam, gotcha. you can pull Good up though. Uplay. I don't know if it's still called Uplay. I think so. Uh, yeah, separately. Uplay. But other than that, mm. they, they don't, uh, they don't uh, do anything else. Mm. But yes, going back to that, fuck it. Let's go. Let's talk about that. What are we oh, talking about? How Pokemon shitty direct. that direct was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the anger <laughs> flows back into me. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, I was really mad about that. Yeah. <laughs> so what exa- well, this, uh, was this like their E3 well, type people, thing? Well, people, no, it's not. No, it's not. But people it's were expecting but. like a cop, like basically... Uh, what sun and moon to be on the console? You know they want that like a full ass three D version even, of shit. Even if not that, then just I hate that they've gone away with the the re release. Like ever since Ultra X and Y, they you mean, you mean no me- before Mega X and Y. No, black and white actually was the was the first version that didn't have like a gray. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a third it was black like and a white version, and no gray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then Pokemon X Yo! and Y and no Z. And then sun and moon and no star. Like, why? It's, why it's did they a, do away with that? They like, were so good. That was always the best version. They fixed bugs. You got all the Pokemon. You get all the starters, usually. You got all the legendaries. Is nice that why there was a thing. third one? Generally, yeah. Generally. yeah. <laughs> I just got Pokemon Yellow because that's what my parents gave me. Like, that was yeah, the one I mean, that Pokemon I liked. And you had amazing. Pikachu would yeah, follow you great. around. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. It yellow. They've, oh, man. Yeah, but they, like, I mean, they're just making, like, there's re-releasing the same game that Why? came out like a year yeah, ago. Like, it didn't come out too long ago. <laughs> and they're re-releasing old games that came out dozens of years yeah, ago. Let's, let's take this game and call it Mega. <laughs> yeah, ba- Or is it Ultra? They basically Mega oh, it's Ultra. It's ultra Ultra. Ultra yeah. They basically <laughs> Mega evolution their games. Yeah. <laughs> really? It's, it's, it's yeah. stupid. It's ridiculous. And, and they're I- also relaunching or re-releasing uh, Silver and Gold. Not Soul Silver and Heart Gold. But just regular old Game Boy Color silver and gold. With networking. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no one. So this thing was eight okay. minutes long. So hypothetically, I could have watched this thing in the time that you've been talking about it. Yep. Uh, yeah, legit. I'm, I'm kind of curious, curious now. No, uh, was, but I mean, like, I guess po- what, Pokemon Tournament com- DX is coming out, and that's nice. Oh, yeah. because is, that just po- is that the fighting game yeah. thing that they made? Yeah, but they're uh, basically, with the arcade version, uh, they... Basically released new characters, but never those characters never made it to I'm the console version. I'm literally watching this right now, which is weird, but okay. So I guess that's good in itself. Oh, don't get me wrong. I like silver and gold. I'm yeah. not saying that those are bad games at all. Oh no, I'm silver saying and gold that are amazing. Games. Crystal though was amazing. Crystal, and great. I don't want to play a silver and gold. You can get Rayquaza and right now. I want to play something on this new device that I bought that's new and not like years old. You know what I mean? People just want a Pokemon IP on the Switch. It would do. They've been honestly, trying to yeah. get like a Pokemon co- IP on the console for yeah, a not long just time like now. Pokemon fighting game. They want the last time I remember anything like that is was there act- has there been anything like Yet. what? Yeah, like on the Switch. Yeah, like in, no, I mean in general, like on a, ten- a Nintendo console, like a Pokemon game. Uh, yeah, but they're typically like the Coliseum type games. And yeah, because I remember Pokemon Stadium had the. Uh, what was it called? The thing that you hooked into the back of the controller and then you could play? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the only time that, that I could, sweet, that I know of. Dude, that thing was awesome. Yeah, they just rebranded it and called it Coliseum instead. Oh, you do that too? Do a little burp away from the mic? Well, yeah, I don't want to burp into the mic. Yeah, I burp away from the mic. Unless, unless I'm playing Overwatch, in which case <laughs> I <laughs> absolutely <laughs> burp into the mic because I can't look away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, I want a Pokemon game. I want it so badly, but it was just a lot of hype. And a lot of disappointment. I, I just couldn't couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it. It's, it's like for every good thing Nintendo does, we're reminded yeah. soon after that they're still Nintendo. <laughs> that that they're Nintendo. still Nintendo. Yeah. They did a, not a bad thing with the Netflix thingy that they're doing, which I really oh. want them to come out with a name so I can stop well, describing as yeah. like Netflix of Nintendo or whatever the fuck. Because there's no other way. Like, yeah, it's like, uh, N- tech Netflix. Netflix. That was rough. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that hurt me inside. Right here, I Fair felt enough. it. I'll <laughs> right. take it. Oh dear. But uh, yeah. So, w- so I guess I want my Pokemon game on the Switch. Nintendo. 
Yeah. If you're just watching, give me that. It's your, just give me a Pokemon RPG. The one of 16 on viewers Switch. that are watching. Is it a po Pokemon game an RPG then? Isn't it kind of already? God, this is getting into deep, I just deep said, water territory. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> we don't want to repeat. I'm just asking, is it I just think a regular it's a, it's RPG? RPG? Okay. Okay. Edit. Okay. That's well, moving on. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. Uh, you brought that one up. <laughs> I like the words came me. out and I started breaking into a sweat. <laughs> you, you just catch the pocket monsters over and over. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, yeah, dodge that crisis. Of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, GameStop did their thing. All right. Well, unless, is there anything else you guys <laughs> saw that happened this week? Let's let it rip. Let's go. Um, right now, you can get a PlayStation controller for forty bucks on Amazon. Whoa, that's news. Breaking news. There you, you go. Go that. buy one. It's still the Gift same. It to me. Shitty battery life though. <laughs> Uh, probably shittier because they added a new light oh, on no. the front. Why? <laughs> well, I mean, Why? since the launch controller. Dude, I could use that controller as a fucking flashlight. Yeah. Like that. Why does it need I think a that giant? One, though, you can well, can use as a floodlight. You can turn like the levels of yeah, but they don't go. But it doesn't dark. matter. Yeah. I want it. <laughs> I want to turn off. it off. Like when I'm yeah. sitting in a relatively dark room, it reflects off my fucking screen. Like. Yep. Who thought? Where was the testing on that? They did it in light, bright rooms, probably. Yeah, the bright room, like nobody. <laughs> no one ever like, played in the dark. <laughs> we should turn the lights off, yeah. just to see. Yeah. Well, t I think it should have been because I know people use it for like the six axis oh. and stuff. But be careful. <laughs> <laughs> how can your own drink go? <laughs> what is going on? It, it should have been that like <laughs> only when you need the six axis does the light like have to be on. You know what I mean? Uh no, it's just on. Yeah, no, I'm saying it should have been that. Like, oh, like or something like that. You could turn it off unless you need it on in order for the camera to track it. In which I case, guess it's I like, can all right, kind fine, of understand cool. that. But I guess they they did. I I just remember they they tried doing like the Black Widow chroma things where depending <laughs> on the game, it would like change. Like I know in the infamous uh, yeah. second Sun, it Whether would change color depending on like your. Yeah. Which is cool, but here's the thing. It's on this side of the controller. Yeah, so you I can't see it. See it. At all. I mean, you're uh, seeing the reflection of the light. Yeah, <laughs> they, they did think uh, and then you're that. like, oh, wow, my controller. It's <laughs> like, I'm, oh, I'm bad. Lights. What? Yeah. We're going to reflect it off their LED TV <laughs> right back in their face. Good yeah. to go. Yeah, a strobe would not have been a good option, Kane. <laughs> that would have. That would have been terrible. Let's blind our players. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we need more of? Lawsuits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> we haven't had a good one in a while. <laughs> let's, yeah, right. Let's, let's have the PlayStation Eye on all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. That not way surprised. more players would buy it. Not surprised. That's, that's not how it works. Hmm. <laughs> nope. I'll show you. <laughs> Does uh, PlayStation? What's the PS4? Is it called the PlayStation I still? Is there a version of that? PlayStation camera. Camera. Oh, yeah. that's better. Yeah, I mean, at least they're. <laughs> I don't know. I sounds creepier. Yeah. I yeah. like the PlayStation just being like watching, Way watching you. Yeah. yeah. Well, the PS2 one was PlayStation I. The PS3 one. Oh, was I PlayStation forgot I. PlayStation 2 had yeah. one. For the little Shit. bubble popping game. That's, that's the only right. thing I ever remember playing with. I'm it. pretty sure it was the well, only thing that, cool, that it like, had. There's that cool uh, AR card game. Where that was PS3. That was that was cool. Uh, uh, Eye of Judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really wanted that was sweet. it because I was like, "Oh, this is probably the closest thing to Yu-Gi-Oh." I feel like ever I remember. They, they also had the weird like uh, Harry Potter ripoff thing. Oh, the B Wonder Book. Was that it? I yes, think that was Wonder yes. Book. Oh shit! I remember the E3 they announced. So did that. I. I watched that and I'm like, that <laughs> looks so, so stupid. Bad. That looks so dumb. They wasted like 20 minutes of on just Harry Potter Wonder of a Book. shitty Connect <laughs> port. Like PS2 Harry Potter hat? Oh, God. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me, I guess. Mm. They're trying to do the wand yeah, shit, but which is uh, what Wonder Book was. It Was that yeah, Wonder Book? Was, I'm pretty oh, sure it was God, I'm kind of, I'm curious now. I think it was Wonder Book was like a platform as a la like uh, Wonder Book Amiibo, PS3. But like there was a Harry Potter version or edition or game that you could use the It was Wonder called Book the Book with? of Spells. Book oh, of okay. Spells. It was the Wonder Book and there was the Book mm. of Spells. You're right. Yep. And it was worked in conjunction with yep. uh, J.K. Rowling, and it was actually Harry Potter branded. Yeah. 72 yeah. on Metacritic. 72 on <laughs> Metacritic. Oh, yeah. I, that's actually <laughs> better than the <laughs> yeah. That actually... Hold on, I need to investigate this. <laughs> Let's look at critic reviews here. I'm not fucking around with it. Wow. There is good, only good, two 100, negative. 100. Huh. 
90. That's interesting. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Hold on, I want to see like what Game Informer yeah, we should buy this game, though. Should we? And just play it GameSpot on GameSpot gave it an 80. And what about user reviews? Let's see those. Uh, I'm not looking at those things. Aww. I don't feel like looking <laughs> oh, at all no, the racial the slurs. Yep, 70s. <laughs> all right, 60s. Uh, IGN gave it a 60. 60 yeah, that's about right. Uh, game Trailers gave it a 45. And Ooh. I trusted Game Trailers. That's rough. Game EGO Trailers was awesome. 45. Yeah. Your old gamer gave it a 50. Better Ooh. than zero. Oh, God. All right. It's, yes, I mean, it's better than <laughs> it's, zero. Yeah. That doesn't necessarily make it good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 45% of nothing is still bad. <laughs> yeah. That's almost 50. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I've forgotten about that. Now I'm thinking, like, oh, I remember watching it, and I Dude, just muted the stream and walked away. I was so disappointed. It looks so dumb. Because they it, they basically had the beginnings of VR in their hands. Like, you can do so much with it. And then they just dropped the ball so hard. Hard. So hard. Like, it was like a hard. bowling ball thud. The way they dropped it. Bowling ball thud. I like that. so bad. Boop. Well, Uh-oh. did you have anything Not else that happened water. this week? Hmm. I like how you're drinking it through the cable and it's, under the arm. It's the most efficient <laughs> Why don't you just use your other hand? Because I feel like go around and, I don't know, this mm. hand's weak. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, Can I always go fucking over? Fucking Peace I mean, Walker was awesome. I love Peace mm. Walker. Peace Walker was good. I that was god damn it. That was the only reason I still played my PSP like years afterwards. Mm. There's a funny story about Peace Walker. So you had to there was like various mechs that you had to fight and you had to take pieces of them to oh, make your own mech. Gear. Your own metal gear. And that was the only way to actually beat the game because it was in typical metal really? gear fashion. There's like a hidden Is that a JRPS? Mm. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> <laughs> but uh <laughs> <laughs> For years, I couldn't do it because, like, they had different versions of the same uh, Portal boss Ops fight. Dope. Yeah. Portal Ops was awesome. Yeah. But like uh, they got harder and harder each time. And uh, I would always try to play, like, the hardest one. But the thing is, mm-hmm. I would come back to it, like, months later, and I would just get my ass kicked <laughs> uh, to the point where all of a sudden I realized, wait a minute, I can just replay the old fights <laughs> And get more parts. And just get uh, less parts, but I didn't need that many. Yeah. So. And then, so I had the complete Metal Gear collection, transferred it, bringing that back, <laughs> onto my PS3 so I could actually play it with a controller, and I literally beat it in one try. <laughs> so one less, try, I got to the end. Less fun oh, that game. Yeah. Portable Ops was so Portable Ops was good. awesome. It was also a really crucial part of the story, too. It's kind of weird how, like, that's... Yeah pretty like it's a pretty yeah. like important part and they're like it's just forgotten yeah yeah mm, it's really sad i did play the shit out of it my psp though like that was like great game honestly what? i might have played a total oh, yeah. of yeah. like six psp games on my psp that's because there are only six psp them. games <laughs> six <laughs> good <laughs> psp <laughs> games yeah, there it is no, I, it I played the shit out of luminous when i had my psp mm. like that was the Sticker. game I had the first. Well, once I bricked there, once I jailbroke it, woo, Lordy. Played so many GBA games. I'm sorry, I what a legal activity did you do? GBA game. <laughs> <laughs> Would you repeat that closer to the mic? Yeah. <laughs> I illegally <laughs> downloaded software I from sold my PSP. Drugs <laughs> in a balloon. <laughs> just saying. On my PSP. You want to not get caught. Just saying. That's true. You, get, you had to have one of those uh, 1001 Blue. models, though. Yeah, the full gel with break. the and they had the the IR report, so I was like controlling my TV from my bed. With oh, yeah. oh, really? That's yeah, yeah, those are great. That yeah. sounds like a great. lot of effort. I went to Walmart Did it work and well? I turned off their like one entry. Oh like, no, TV. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> There's, it's so it's funny to see how like that technology in cell phones is like been quietly thrown away. Yeah, because so many people were using it to fuck yeah. with other TVs. <laughs> yep. Like, you're just in a restaurant, and you're like, click. Yep. That's off. I would go to bars a lot and do that. Dude, it was always fun. <laughs> yeah. That was not a smart idea. Uh, but it was and it was useful a couple times that I yeah. actually legitimately used I mean, it. it's it's like when you lose the controller, you're like, <laughs> ah, fuck, where's the controller? It's in the couch somewhere, but I don't want right, to get it. I'm just going to use my PSP. phone. Mm-hmm. Or PSP, yeah. yeah. One good. of the two. Good times. Good, Very good times. Oh, man, I love the PSP. That was a, it was that thing was good. a workhorse. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Like yeah. you can, if you jailbreaked it. Yeah, uh, I just played it can, straight and I loved it. It stayed on my toilet, and anytime I had to go to the bathroom, <laughs> fucking See, I, play I, some Peace Walker. I used it as like a PlayStation emulator, like almost exclusively. Like, but yeah, they had a lot awesome of them already sweet. that you could just legitimately a good get. Job. I played yeah, yeah. Um, it was awesome. 
what was it? Uh, we talked about it last time. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, War yeah. Alliance. Yeah, I played that on PSP. Really? Yeah, I yeah. actually bought that game. I had it was really good. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, the same thing with the Vita. Like they they actually brought all like the PS One uh, classics on there, mm. and it was like, hey Nintendo, mm. that's how you fucking do it. Yeah. You just buy the game. Like, that's it. Like, that's all you had to do. It was such an awesome console. Yeah. It just had it, such a shitty library. Yeah, it their their yeah. software was terrible. Yeah. It, was, it was terrible. It was the terrible. bubbles. It looked really cool in the beginning, but then it got old oh, really fast. Oh, yeah, it did. And the screen, it was big and beautiful. It was like it was, everything was about nice. that hardware. Yeah, it felt was nice. great. Like, yeah. It, it was, was great. Solid. Yeah. The touchscreen was a little, like, on the back. I hated that. Thing. I hated that was yeah. incredibly yeah. stupid. Yeah. But, and, uh, whatever. It had better shoulder buttons. It had an actual had analog an extra, stick. An extra stick. Yeah, for it had use. two. It was. It was. It was a switch decent. before the switch. Uh, kinda, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, you could play your PS4 yeah. on it, which mm-hmm. I did literally twice. I did a lot. I, I did it just like to try it. Yeah, I, I see that. So uh, I think I played fucking PT in my goddamn. Uh, <laughs> oh god, game I de- played actually in my oh, game design shit. class. <laughs> my my uh my fucking design document class. I would play PT. I played a different game every time. Really? I what? played a lot of Payday. Isaiah, can you grab me a Pepsi? A Pepsi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a Pepsi. You you could not have said that sketchier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure oh, you, you you winked as you said it like a <laughs> Pepsi. A, a Pepsi, Isaiah. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid box. You having trouble there? I got it. So what does Mario think of last week's argument? He doesn't know about it. He's uh, he's forever he's oblivious to it. Yes, he's he's he will fresh. never he hear of it. He cares a little bit. See, he's caring right now. Um, or this dead stare. I need to take that mic card down. <laughs> it's like literally just in his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It was um. It was a funny joke. Now he just looks drunk. Look at him. Now he's just like. Yeah, he's just kind of slumped, slumped down. You know? He's had too many mushrooms. What are you looking at? It's it why why is it there? Because I don't know. Why was your My koozie under koozie? Mario's armpit? <laughs> it was there. He was holding it. Keep I it guess warm. also, I guess real quick, hold on. Pepsi. If you come to the if you come to the <laughs> BGS, we have koozies. And hats. Yeah. You can buy koozies. With uh, the logo on Do you have any hats that button? No. We I mean what? if, if I wanted to fuck up the focus, yes. Oh, okay. So and we also have shirts too. But you have yes. to get them here. Yes, but if there's enough of a calling for them. Maybe we'll figure something out. You probably get one I'm shipped, saying this, yeah. and Chris Langford is watching this. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> hoping he's watching. <laughs> like, no, don't order them, please. No. Now introducing the BGS online store. Uh, we do have to get what's name though. Um, sushi is a JRPG shirts. That was the that was the one that good quote. Right, yeah, that was the one best. There quote. was a lot of quotes. It was a good quote. There was a lot of good quotes. Let's the, put it this way. That was one of the best. I quotes cut the day. podcast segment out of that. And I have not looked at the rest of it. <laughs> I straight up just compressed. That's going in the library. <laughs> and that's it. I'm not. Nope. Never. That Ooh, is, a mouse mat would actually be really good. Yeah, why don't we have mouse mats? That would actually that's be actually really good. Yeah. I feel like we thought about that. Huh. They're probably expensive. Uh, would they be? No, it's like, it's I mean, like we just a made, big rubber mat. Yeah. Uh, there's glue cloth to the top of it. It's true. Oh, we can look into it. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. I'd we buy one, that. too. We got a couple of shirts. We need no, we're not deleting that. That's gold. The BGS betting site. I didn't delete it out of the archive, but once it's out of the archive, oh. I will have the only copy. Hold it for ransom. We'll sell that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sell that. <laughs> if we'll do that for like some la- milestone or something mm. to, uh, on like maybe if we hit a certain, like number of uh, followers or we ever actually manage to. I don't even know. I'm trying to think of something that I would yeah. want that to be seen. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. I don't know if I ever want that to be seen again. <laughs> yeah, there's a few. I've only deleted two videos off of the archive. Uh, one of them w- I really bad. Was it a pack cast? <laughs> yeah, they're both okay. pack casts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that explains a lot. <laughs> Uh, and both of them was uh, a very late podcast. A very late podcast. One yeah. of them was actually after one of these uh, podcasts, and I was drunk. They and had... I was. Uh, we had people who were bitching and moaning in Overwatch, mm. so I started making fun of them in a mm. very degrading manner, mm. and has immediately deleted <laughs> off the <laughs> internet. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, I'm not gonna keep this around. No, <laughs> I, I literally stopped the stream, went over and went click it and deleted it. <laughs> it was Done. Yeah. one after the other. Uh, it was funny. Oh. It makes me laugh when I watch it, but I don't want anybody. Else Did you know that. that they had metal mat like mouse pads? Yes, I do. I, I have one. Really? Yeah. I gotta use this. It's it's, it's, it's it useful because it's useful because you're like uh, it's not reflective metal. It's got like a matte top on top, uh, like a matte painting on Finish. it. But you can like sit on your bed, and since it's like a stable surface, you can actually use your mouse mm. instead. It's kind of cool. Mm. Uh, they're right. not super popular. Learn something new because everybody. like they're not small. Uh, they, and there's, if you have a desk, there's no point in not just getting a legitimate mouse pad. Is yeah. the Razer Chroma one a metal mouse pad, technically? Yes. I think it's plastic. Or is it plastic? It? I'm pretty know. sure it's plastic. I've never seen one. Never felt one. Because there's no reason to buy it. But, uh, true. Because really it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it's a digital mouse pad. A hundred what? dollar mouse pad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Why? What? It's colors. 250 million colors. I'm kind of curious. Hold on. Why? Razor. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> so many colors. What is this thing do anything like it's else? A special mouse pad, right? It, it changes yeah. colors sometimes when you're in the game. Like the mouse mats, I love. Like I've got so many of those things. Those things are great. Like the big mat, like oh, what the, I have on my yeah, desk. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Those things are awesome. Mm. But this thing is like a legitimate. Look at that stress test. Yeah, like this is just uh, mat. Mouse, uh, mouse mats. Here we go. To mat. It's a mat. It's a mouse mat. You just put a mouse on it. You said like mouse mat. mat like four times. Yeah, because I, I don't understand. Matt. I don't. There's yes, another shirt. Sky. I don't understand why it's, it's forty five dollars for a Is it mouse 45 mat. Because Dude, the fucking the giant like yeah, rollout. Like one, that's the Firefly cloth. Oh, there it is. Oh jeez, no. Invicta. Wow, some of these. Mouse mats are expensive. The Firefly. Dude, the biggest one, the one that That's I have game. is only 35, and it's this fucking big. That's a game. I can just get a game. Why do you need a mouse mat that... And play... Never mind. Play... <laughs> J-R-P-S's. I can just get a game <laughs> and play it on my PC. Yeah, just, just buy shotgun farmers. Yeah, yeah I can buy, I can buy like, seven dozen... Seven dozen. Seven... Copies. Seven copies. Seven copies. <laughs> shotgun farmers. Seven dozen hundred Seven copies. dozen and copies. Give them out to my seven best friends, and we could all play shotgun farmers seven together. Seven dozen friends. <laughs> <laughs> if you it if you had good. seven like yeah seven copies would uh you could fill out at least a team right? Yeah. Oh yeah, six yeah. to a team. So we can just play and have one person. You could run house. The team. Just yeah. But what look does at those this colors. thing do? Texture weave optimized for all sensitivity settings and sensors. Okay. Is validated we're, by eSport. We're gonna have some weird science here, guys. Yeah, some bullshit science. Some next gen mouse. Chroma lighting with 16.8 million customizable mm. color options. AKA, you can drag your gradient. That's not enough. Yeah, we we need more. It's got lighting effects, man. All right, that looks cool. I'm not it looks gonna lie, cool, but, but that's what you, I don't you, you need have it. a keyboard yeah. that already does it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, legit. Sure. Yeah, I have a Razer keyboard that does that. Why? Get I more? actually really like the Widowmaker, but this mm. thing is. I do want to get one of the full size mouse pads. Dude, those things are so nice. Yeah, I love mine. I just don't like how my keyboard slides around. R I your just, keyboard slides around on it? I have a really smooth desk. Oh, like, really? Yeah, just a really you, smooth do you know, keyboard. Oh, like on general? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. nice. Like it's the whole thing. Yeah, it covers. I, like my laptop can go on it. I got my mouse or like my keyboard and you know what? It's <laughs> it is nice. Uh, yeah. it bends Let's get Bill to Nye his. In here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is like a car with underlights. That's legitimately what it was. Yeah. All right. Sometimes they change color in games too. Yeah, I know that in Mafia it would like go red and blue as you uh, if you were had. Okay, that's cool. Like people ch like yeah. cops chasing you, that's and cool. in Overwatch the Widowmaker, and I'm assuming this will change depending on what hero you are. Yeah, but that's it. Like there's literally a handful that's of games that cool. it changes. Wait, what did the, hand what did the Widowmaker do? It changes colors depending on what hero you are. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Like Tracer, it might be like orange. Yeah, and something like white that, or something. Like that. You know, Genji is probably green cool. or something or bullshit. I get that. Um. Uh, yeah, it's just mm. kind of odd how. Yeah, whatever. Okay, how are you guys <laughs> doing? Good. I don't know how long we've been going for. We could take a break. Hours. And then go into our main part, or we can just go straight to our main part. What do you guys think? Straight to them, guys. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Do it up. Okay. What is the main part? Is there a main part? There is a main part. Oh, oh snap! The main topic tonight is all of this. Oh snap! It's a lot of text. So I'm gonna steal your design document. 
<laughs> yeah, my design doc. <laughs> my you really, <laughs> my my very very difficult to make paragraph. <laughs> yeah, it never the break. Font and then after no, after hours is not the main part. <laughs> it's not supposed to be that the main the, part. That was the encore. It's, it's supposed to be was. just. It was, it was the double, triple. Uh, so the way everything. So the way it works <laughs> here is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was arguably better than the main piece. Uh, no, after uh, basically there is an audio podcast version that goes on YouTube and iTunes. Not audio; it's video on YouTube too, and that's mm-hmm. the chunk. But then after that, we just enter after hours, which is the or uh, is the after the credits, where it's just we just shoot the shit for maybe seven hours. <laughs> that's not the way it's supposed to be, but uh, yeah, that happened that time. So the main topic of the podcast tonight is backwards compatibility. So an article mm. came out okay. on Ars Technica, which I'll drop the link in the chat for everybody else to Dropped. see. Dropped right now. Boom. Were you like <laughs> waiting for me to hit the enter key? Yeah. Uh, that says... Uh, for this is Xbox uh, specifically, uh, they've done okay. other uh, tests on like Steam and such, but they're using it on Xbox Live now. As I'm going to say multiple times through this, take all of this with a grain of salt because they stated to have used data for over 900,000 people uh, through a third party. It's been accurate before, but this is okay. the first time that they've done it on Xbox, so there might be some. Uh, Degrees of uh, error. Most of them <laughs> follow through. <laughs> uh, most of them follow through with previously, uh, like felt uh, feelings on this sort of felt. stuff. <laughs> felt feelings. <laughs> Shut up! I'm moving on. Uh, but so it states that not only are people not playing backwards compatibility, but most of the time people aren't using their Xbox for games. Period. Yeah. Netflix uh, machine. They did a really good job at pushing for the video mm-hmm. game console to be your just home entertainment system. Yeah. And that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. They fucking nailed Exclusively. it. Exclusively. <laughs> uh, they, like, just a couple of the takeaways, and then I'm going to go to the article and go into some of the deeper ones. But 54.7% of Xbox One users. Over 50%. The majority. Tested to spend the majority of their time playing Xbox One games, while 16.5% of users spend the majority of their time watching Netflix. So if you ever see Futch online, he's usually watching Netflix. Mm. And he's probably going to yell at me in the chat for a second. (laughs) Um, Sampled Xbox 360 users spend 34.7% of the time watching Netflix. So that thing is actually a Netflix machine. Yeah. Uh, And only... What is it a Netflix machine? And this is is the big one. Okay. Out of the time sampled for backwards compatible titles, what do you think it is? T- like percentage, percentage wise, for backwards compatible. Yes, for as I'm all the bitching and moaning that people were making on about Xbox it One? on Xbox One. I'm gonna say like I'm maxing out 70. at like <laughs> I'm maxing out at like. Even though I saw the number. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, that's up. No. Well, I, I was gonna go <laughs> really low. I was gonna say like maxing out at like 11 percent people. 11 uh, percent. Yeah. 1.5. Shit. 1.5 percent <laughs> of people. Hmm. Oh. But no, nope. yeah, true. Like most of the time, I'm passively at, like watching Netflix. Yeah, to be fair, but that's kind of what Netflix is: is that you just watch episodes yeah. running. Like Netflix running is what it is. Yeah. It's but the fact is that it's still doing that but honestly, and not playing games. Yeah, like you can. That leave doesn't a game matter open. at that point. People yeah. don't do that. They leave Netflix. On I've done that a ton of times. Well, but yeah, one point five percent out of dude when they dropped the Xbox One, people lost their shit. That there was yeah. no backwards compatibility. And now literally, at least of these 900,000 people, again, taking a grain of salt, but even out of 900,000 people, less than 2% of yeah. those people were using it. It's the, it's the vocal minority who it, complained a lot. It's of. just insane. Like, it's a comically small number. Yeah. Like, vocal yeah. minority aside, that is a comically small number, especially compared to previous generations. Hmm. Well, I mean, when was this, do you know, does it say when this survey was taken? Because like within the past couple weeks. Okay, so I imagine relatively recently. I imagine closer to the Xbox One launch, it was higher. You know what I mean? Because people didn't. There wasn't as many Xbox One games that people could play instead of. But you couldn't play backwards compatible on the on Xbox One period, so there was none when it first launched. 
Backwards compatibility came later. Yeah. So that means that it's grew from zero to one point five. At least it came later though. Like when Sony And it's actually out, a good yeah. system. I like it. Basically it runs it? it runs as a three sixty emulator. Okay. Like when you boot it up, it does the three sixty logo oh, that's cool. on it and everything. I don't like it as much like I tried playing Rainbow Six Vegas too, mm. and it just didn't feel right. It's because it's a different controller <laughs> and it's not obligated for it. God damn it, Sky. But, uh, At least they didn't take away like Sony did. At least they gave it to like active users and stuff. What, do, what did Sony? What do you mean by that? There's oh. no backwards compatible. Well, the PS3, uh, PS3. used to be well, backwards compatible. I mean, oh, yeah, and they then took it like, away. That's nope. right. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty <laughs> shitty. It didn't t- they took it away, but then they gave it back just behind a paywall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some shittiness right uh, there. That is but how you I also don't, don't do care it. because I don't want to go play old games. Old games are old. It is. Yeah. It's very, very rarely do I want to go back and play an old game. So you had no PS2 games that you liked, or no, I do. I have again. plenty. All my favorite games are probably from the PS2 era, but that doesn't mean I want to go back and play them. I'm glad they exist. I'm glad I have them, and I have the ability to go back and play them. But I don't want to. Had the ability. Well, I still have my PS2. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. 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 So, so boom. Those things are great. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate backwards compatibility. Yeah, the original hardware. compatibility. <laughs> Yeah, it's so. There's a couple other numbers in here. The most popular games played. Who are you texting? People who are watching the chat. Who's watching? Uh, yes. Friends from work. And Sky. And Sky's, Kane. Sky's messaging you on and fucking your iPhone. No, on uh, iMessage. <laughs> Sky, just hit me up real quick. I'll prove Pat wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, you got his digits. Uh, <laughs> fucking, uh, who, who's watching? People from work. I'm watching. Yeah. Somebody was supposed to write in a question. I don't know if he did or not. Oh. I don't even know. If, do you have access to the email? The questions? The question email? To, for what? The podcast at bufflegamespace.com? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did we get one? No. Nope. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no. You dropped the ball. <laughs> yeah. We did not get any. Right. I can hard. check. The last minute. Mm. Uh, we can check. I'll check during the break. Yeah. How about that? But uh, the most popular games played online. This is by a this uh, on Xbox One specifically Xbox One only is Battlefield One Madden, Rainbow Six Siege and Forza. Not surprised. Rainbow okay. Six Siege kind of surprised me a bit. I mean, I I guess that that's bigger than what do you call it? Uh, call of Duty. <laughs> I had a brain fart there. <laughs> on the flip side, the most popular 360 title. By number of players is COD Black Ops. <laughs> okay, never mind. So, uh, and that's people were still playing it right Black now. Black Ops? Black Ops. One. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was great, but still? I wonder how many people that is. I, I mean, can, uh, actually, they do have some percentages on the... the zombies. They all have <laughs> zombies at this point. But here's the thing. What's the follow-up? What do you think the next game? On which platform? Oh, on 360. Banjo-Kazooie. Mm. I'm I honestly I'm gonna say it's a sports title. I don't Rayman know Origins. No. By Dude. number of players playing. Uh, that play. game's on every really? percentage of players. Yep. Rayman well, that's Origins. A really good game. That's so I'm really glad. To everything. Uh, but it's a really good game. It was an awesome <laughs> game. Go play it if you haven't played it. It's beautiful. It plays really well. It's just. It's funny. Is yeah great. Rayman's the shit. Uh, so I can pull in here. I guess let's take a look. He's at not this. a bobcat. See the. <laughs> what <laughs> is he? He's he's a Rayman. He's Oops. a Rayman. Yeah. Rayman? He's a bot. He's shotgun farmers Ray- ripped off of him. Rayman the Rayman. Quasi's gonna flip his shit that I said that. <laughs> Cause he hates it when people say that. Oh, I'm gonna get such yeah, a bad hate mail. Yeah, his game is Rayman. <laughs> with, with shotguns. Uh estimated share of time spent on Xbox One content. So this is just time. It's they it boils down to Netflix sixteen, the TV app six point seven, YouTube six point six, mm-hmm. other non game apps is fourteen percent. Mm-hmm. I feel uh, like Netflix is a lot bigger than that. There, there you go. we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As I switch, to that's the, what switch. I picture. That's time spent on the three sixty is disc based games. That one's interesting. Hmm. Is thirty seven point four. The down. hell's a disc based game? Like a you put a disc yes. in the machine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. As opposed to like a downloaded Technology. game. Technology. Future. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, this thing called the internet. I don't know if you've heard of it. Uh, as Yahtzee puts it, XBLA or Xbox Live Arcade uh, is 2.3% of those games, with YouTube being 13% and 34.1%. So borderline, right underneath disc based games, people watch Netflix on the 360. Mm. 
Uh, that thing is literally <laughs> a Netflix game. Ripped off. Like oh, 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 asking you shit. Oh, 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 shit. He's fucking watching from a distance. Mm. He's watching on somebody else's account, so it doesn't look like he's, he's watching. watching. <laughs> <laughs> he has his own personal account. Mm. Every game chart has limbs, therefore every game is ripped off Mario. <laughs> True. <laughs> Except there was games yeah. before that. <laughs> I like that, that that part was missing. Yeah, yeah. some truth with you. <laughs> so Mario's ripping off of Adventure? Was that the game? Uh, the I mean, very the, yeah. like a one with the actual First, like well, the action like old old school was it Zelda look alike like what Zelda looks looked like Mario's Zelda two yeah because yeah. it has I'm mechanics. trying to think was it adventure mm. Pitfall Pitfall well no there was an adventure before that oh yeah it was it was before, before even that. that shit yeah so all yeah. games were both mm. text based games do they just in general yeah huh? I guess so. Video games ripped off of pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they ripped off of motion pictures, which, which ripped, ripped off, off of pictures. <laughs> <laughs> which ripped off of which caveman stories. I would say paintings. Caveman drawings. Stories. Pa- caveman stories. <laughs> yeah, you I guess, jumped. I guess they yeah, were you went from pictures to <laughs> well, caveman I mean, painting. what was before that? Paintings. Yeah, which like ripped off of caveman pictures. Cave are there caveman paintings, maybe? All right, all right, all right, all right, fine, fine, fine. Uh, they were moving paintings. Uh, moving paintings <laughs> to paintings to hieroglyphics. What's a moving painting? To or <laughs> what's a moving painting? Moving pa- like a uh, shut they, up. They, they paint and then you know they, what I mean. And then they switch to a different. This paint. is going down in flames. Oh, uh, they always do. That's the beauty of it. You gotta have a lot of canvases. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you can move the paintings. <laughs> yeah, you just you <laughs> rotate them out real <laughs> fast. <laughs> Whoosh. That's your yes, yeah, your frame by frame. You just have a whole bunch of people that just keep <laughs> running around in a circle. Oh dear. Oh dear. 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 Well, has Quasi said literally anything else? That was his one thing. Nope, that's it. <laughs> uh, ripped off of what? And then he pieced. I like it. Gone. He's in and out. He's efficient. He's an efficient man. Speaking of which, is he coming out tonight? I hope so. I think so, yeah. Quasi, are you coming out with us tonight? Yeah. Are we saying yes I'm, now? I'm, I'm going to Are we calling him, him out? Yeah. We're calling him out. I thought that was tomorrow. I can't yeah, do it tomorrow. I can't do it yep. tomorrow. Can you, you can't do it tomorrow? I mean, I you guys can go back out. Shouldn't do it tomorrow. You can go back out. Yeah, but I, I want to. We'll I'm see. going out tonight. We'll see. Probably gonna switch shirts. You guys could back out. Could back out. <laughs> could back out. He's not. There is not going to be a nine hour tonight. <laughs> we're going. <laughs> no, no more nine hours. Yeah, we're going out to a bar after this. Unfortunately, Buffalo is he coming? Not where? That long. He doesn't have work to do. He needs to take a goddamn break, Quasi. It's true. <laughs> Fucking, what was it last night that he responded to a text from you at four in the morning when he was supposed to have been in bed? Was it me? Yeah, it was you. You straight up said it to me. No. To my face. Yeah. No. Yeah. It was not me. You were drunk. It was someone else. That was definitely you. It was not Quasi. It was Quasi. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> Arts not, are for squares. Nah, yeah. dude. Yeah. It sure. wasn't me. It was definitely you. You were in my apartment. No you were text. sitting on my couch. I was texting Quasi. Maybe it was a Twitter thing. Time. Then. 9 p.m. Eastern time? That's wow, right. you're up pretty early then. I like that. 9 p.m. Eastern time. Wow, fuck. But you're awake it, at 9 wait, a.m. watching but, Twitch? I know this is probably a dumb question, but is it is it Friday or Saturday there? Like, is it 9 a.m. Saturday or 9 a.m. Friday? That's an interesting question. Time dilation. Oh. Be the or be the square it's is because Saturday. you're not around. I understand what the phrase <laughs> means. That's not the point. Uh, Chris is watching. I'm calling Chris out. Whoa. And by Chris, I mean, hello, <laughs> CLD. Hello, Cloud. It's, it's, how are you supposed to pronounce it's it? It's CLD. <laughs> is it just CLD? Yeah. I always print. Uh, I always read it as hello, Sid. Really? Yeah, because because I don't like, I don't know, you, your brain mm, just tries yeah. to abbreviate it. And I just well, see like yeah, the eye. It's Saturday, tenth oh, okay. of June. So you're so ar- he's ahead of us. Yeah, you're in the future. Hours. What's Dude, it like in the future? Send me the lottery numbers so Quick, I can now. so I can win. Who won the World Series? <laughs> that happened to be tonight. The Cubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey. Don't start that shit. <laughs> Don't start that shit. It happened once. It yeah. Happened again. <laughs> <laughs> well, for a fucking century. Yeah. First, uh, for the record, St. Louis and Chicago don't get along very well with each other. Mm. The only time I've almost seen my dad fight somebody. <laughs> uh, oh. Them and the Blackhawks in town. God, just take the mic arc down. 
Go fucking take that out of his face. No, I mean like physically remove it. Oh, like just take. Oh, Max says hi. Hi, Max. Uh, yeah. Oh. Just, hi, Max. Yeah, it's like a, you almost have to literally pull it out or something. Yeah. Crazy. Is it? Could, I always spell Max with just the one X. Now I've, we can officially you confirm that it's blue is mine. It's for Max a with two X's. She's extreme. She's, she's maximum extreme. <laughs> it's extreme. Max to the extreme. There you go. Gotta say it like that though. Hello, dudes. He also spelled dudes with uh, two zeros for the record, so I he's like obviously it. cool. Yeah, that's that's how that works. That's Leet speak. speak. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> so, uh, back to backwards compatibility. <laughs> Do you guys have anything to say on this shit? Um, I, I think it's a good piece. thing to have. I like I that it exists. It should be an option yeah. that should be there because it it's a no brainer. It just expands Why your library, like immediately. What? Uh, she wants you to know it's three X's. Oh snap! On the weekend. Crazy. Yeah. Max, when, Max gets crazy on the weekends. Crazy. Right? <laughs> Three. No. Nope. It's like triple X. She turns into like a. She turns into Vin X. Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> that's her. That's her weekend job. Yeah. Confirmed. Max's day Vin job. Diesel. She's like helping kids, and petting puppies, and planting trees. And then on the weekend, she just turns into I an feel assassin. Like this was Vin Diesel does too, though. Yeah. Yeah. That during the like week he, he is. He's like a super nerd. He's really into D and D. And then and then he. He you gets know. on like a film set and he just has to put Goes on his yeah, fucking car. Puts on a leather jacket, and white beater, no leather, no nothing besides. I was like, like a leather white jacket and like just some jeans, slacks. He's good some to go. Slacks. Some boots. All right, so to Max is Vin Diesel. Uh, Chris, sorry to tell you this, or uh, um, maybe you might already know. He might. I hope he knows. I hope. I would hope so. If he he's yeah. engaged, so <laughs> yeah. You don't. You yeah, don't know. It's happening. Oh, man. You're uh, surprise! Awakening. You're engaged to Vin Diesel. <laughs> Uh, so don't get married on the weekend. <laughs> Triple H and I think Shane Hart. Extreme wedding. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Mario is looking through my soul. <laughs> yes, he is staring. Wow, he really he is. Yeah, that's a long stare. <laughs> huh. Ten yard stare. Oh God. Yeah, that's staying that way now. <laughs> All right, so we're actually having a Fast and Furious themed wedding. What? Uh, They're gonna get. Can you please get like defined? I'm gonna say it yeah. hitched on like a moving car. That'd be cool. I'm just gonna put that out there for everyone to just that hurt me inside. Simmer on, let it simmer, let people uh, take that in, digest it a little bit. What am I simmering? Don't Did worry about it. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so no, cool. And shut that. <laughs> Remember, you're gonna have to do this next week. Oh no. This is that's gonna be your job. <laughs> yeah. And I'm I guess for the help. record, so I'm leaving for Bye, Pat. three weeks. Yeah. After this, so this <laughs> motherfucker here is gonna be your host. So Hi guys, give him all your shit. No, Chad's gonna be good with me. Not gonna treat him like a host. Ever. I'm actually excited to see what happens. I, th it's either gonna go one of two ways. It's gonna be, this guy sucks, I hate him, or this guy's awesome. Don't ever let that other guy come back again. <laughs> so it's gonna, it's one or it's one or the other. In which case, it's yours now. Uh, <laughs> no, it's all yours. Uh, I uh, bring it to you, I mean, Pat. We always have an open <laughs> position of control room. Yeah, no, fuck that. I, I'm, the, I'm gonna be out of here. Hot box. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be done. Mm. Uh, he's like he ruins <laughs> everything. <laughs> Yeah, he's your host. Because he's the only one who knows how to run OBS. I'm also not <laughs> expressing any opinions for the next three weeks. Everything is just going to be facts, and I'll ask questions to other people. I mean, next week That's we'll just it. talk about Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> I, I, I felt a cold chill go through the room. That time. And also RuneScape. That yes. <laughs> that, yeah. So, yeah, he, he's your host. <laughs> Unless maybe... Uh, Let's Maybe we can uh, figure something. Greg's not coming no. back. Greg doesn't. He doesn't care about us. <laughs> like after five o'clock happens, uh, he's gone. He's like, all right, I'm he's out. He's like, fuck all of you. <laughs> I have to go be awesome somewhere mm. else. And then he immediately pops Fair up enough. playing Overwatch five minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's true that is important. He's awesome at That's Overwatch. True, so. yeah. That cold chill went from there to here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So say hello to the BGS host for three weeks. Yep. Yay. Yay. I'll still be watching. So I'll be in the chat. It. 
We're gonna kill it. So don't you worry. It's gonna be dope. I'll we're be hosting. Destroy it. F- by we're sending gonna be objectively Slack lit. messages. We're gonna have so many objectively lit object- special guests. Objectively lit. Objectively. Can you be lit. objective? Of course. Absolutely, I can. I'm kind of. I'm curious to see it. Mario's creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we turn the Mario? Like every time I look up yeah, now, I'll make I sure see he's closer it, in the frame like, now. Oh, yeah, at least make it full. Yeah, there I'll, you go. That's he's that's go that way. Yep. I just got a really bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. So yeah, anybody yeah, has had a long day. Anything else to say? <laughs> I found him outside <laughs> on the couch with an empty bottle of wine next to him. Yeah. Like really? somebody put that just like sitting there next to him. That's awesome. So just uh, you know, he can't handle so many uh, releases, especially yeah. in New Donk City now. You know? <laughs> New Donk City. New Donk City. Who it's thought that that, that was a good idea? No. Nobody was donk, like, hey, donk, donk. it's New Donk mm. City. Nobody went, that's probably not the best name for it. Yeah. Out of everything we could name it, See, that's the... W- I, I, the size between, like, yeah, Mario yeah. and, like, the other people in the oh, game just freaked me God. the fuck out, though. Mario and the Rabbids. Is that actually going to be a thing? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a game. That's announced. It's going to be sweet. <laughs> that is announced. I, I want to be sassy. Officially. Hashtag sassy. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, in all fairness, I heard that the Rabbids games are actually, like, they're I've kind of fun. Games. They're, they're fun, fun yeah. and they're just, entertaining to watch because they're actually funny. But their sense of humor is also can be some pretty not necessarily dark, but like adult, dirty. Yeah, yeah. they are kind of dirty rabbits. <laughs> so <laughs> Arsenio made it weird. Okay, no, all right. That's how they are. I mean, yeah, you know, you know what rabbits do, right? Well, I guess uh, <laughs> let's let's yeah, take well. a little break. How about that? Shall we? Word. Let's end the podcast. So, if you're listening to this, thank you for listening to us again. Uh, if any of this nonsense sounds interesting to you, please give us a rating on iTunes. Tell your friends, loved ones, and anyone else who you uh, think might enjoy what we do here, because that's how we grow. And yep. if you're in Buffalo and you like to come down and see this place for yourself, we're at the Tri Main Center, Suite 454. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch right now, stand by for the after credits. Uh, where we will not be going for another <laughs> seven hours. Maybe like 20 minutes. I don't know. Uh, it usually goes as long as the chat yeah. kind of is going for it. But yeah. it's not going to be fucking seven hours. Yeah. I'll tell you that goddamn much. <laughs> uh, so thanks for listening, and we will see you next week. Bye. Wait, what do you bye mean? forever. Bye. Wait. Bye-bye. No, not bye. bye forever. Wait, do I have for to read bit. that script?